What is programming and why do we have a lot of programming languages? As a beginner, which one should I opt out of the best? These are the questions that every beginner to the programming might face. Well, that's exactly why I'm here to help you choosing the best programming language, especially if you're a beginner. Hey guys, this is KSK and today I will be showing you a top 3 best programming languages to learn for beginners. Let's get started. Programming is a way of talking to the computer by providing various instructions in order to accomplish the task by using the programming language. If you google it, you will find a lot of options like JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, C++, Swift, Objective-C, blah blah blah. As a beginner, it's pretty tough to choose which programming language is the best for future. Well, today I will share my experience and thinking process of choosing a best programming language which suits you. But before talking about the top 3 programming languages to learn, you have to answer this question. Are you learning programming just for fun or for a job? If you prefer programming is for fun, then you have answered right. Programming itself is very important for every human being which makes you to think and take a smart decisions in life. Does that mean you have to choose a programming for career? Of course yes, once you learn the basic concepts of programming, then you can see yourself confident to opt it as a career. Take my word, to become a good programmer, you need to have a solid foundations. Okay, so enough about talking. Starting with the number 3, Python. Python is considered to be as one of the best programming language that every beginner can easily learn. Python is an interactive, multi-purpose programming language. Due to its precise and plain English syntax, which by the way, the rules of language are so useful for beginners to immediately embrace themselves learning coding. You can use Python for developing a desktop applications, websites and web applications and more. Python is also called as interpreted programming language, meaning you can ask a Python interpreter what is the value of 2 times 5 and pressing the return key will immediately execute and evaluate the expression by showing the result. This provides an interactivity of coding. You can even ask the Python to evaluate a complex expression and Python will do it for you. Due to its level of interactivity, automatic memory management, you don't need to worry anything about the low-level infrastructure. Python supports a cross-platform, which means you will be able to use Python in Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, iOS, and even on Android. So beginners, try to learn Python as your first programming language, especially if you don't want to deal with the low-level things. At number 2, we are having a Swift. Swift is a programming language developed and created by an Apple employee named Chris Latner. It is an open source programming language which was released in 2014. Swift is a compiled programming language which is way faster than Python. Swift has a modern syntax which suits for beginners. It is powerful, type safe and even the compiler is aggressive which enforces you to fix the errors and warnings before it gets compiled. With Swift, you can build apps for Apple ecosystem, like you can make apps for Apple Watch, iPhone, Mac, and tvOS. Swift supports multiple paradigms of programming. It supports functional, object-oriented, and a protocol-oriented. Because of open source, you don't need to have a Mac to learn the basics of Swift. Swift can be installed on Windows PC or even on Linux. In Swift, everything is considered as an object. For example, if I type any string literal followed by a dot syntax, then you can see all the attributes and methods are readily available to modify it. To print your name, it's pretty easy. You don't need any header file or macro or even no need of any main method. All you simply do is call the Swift function called print. Inside the print function, you can simply type your name, enclose inside the double quotes, and that's it. And if you're having a Mac, then use a Xcode for learning Swift. In fact, Apple offers a new feature called a Swift Playgrounds, an interactive way of coding with Swift. Using Playgrounds, you can see the results right after finishing the statement. Also, Swift even supports a REPL environment, which is a Swift interpreter which lets you to execute a single statement at a time. You can use it through the terminal. Open terminal on Mac and type there Swift and you will see a REPL environment is ready. 
Then type anything here, just like Python, it will interpret each line after pressing the return key. If you have an iPad, then download the app called a Swift Playgrounds, which is a far more better than Xcode when it comes to beginners. This app helps to get started with computer programming even if you don't have any previous experience. Apple offers a lot of puzzles that you can use to solve through writing some code. And don't worry, this app will teach you everything to get started. So download the Learn Basics template and use it to solve a different problems. The bottom line, Swift is a 4-year-old language gaining a more popularity in tech industry. If you want to serve for Apple, then this language is primary language to build applications for Apple computers. And last but not the least, at number one, C language. C language is one of the most and powerful and popular programming language which was created by Dennis Ritchie at at and Bell Laboratories in 1972. Most of the computer's low-level infrastructure is completely written in C. C is a low-level systems programming language which is almost close to the hardware. It has a high-level syntax which helps you to learn the core programming concepts of coding like variables, conditional statements, functions, loops, data structures, pointers, and more. You can use a C language to build the core components for low-level infrastructure. In fact, some of the core components of operating system is completely written in C. Take an instance of Linux kernel, a popular open source kernel that runs almost on any computer. Due to its huge popularity, it never becomes old. As a beginner, everyone should start learning programming in C to learn the most core concepts of coding. When you are perfect in the concepts of C, then it will help learning any programming language very easily. And trust me, a C is a widely adapted programming language. Everyone should know this language. It will help you to teach the underlying concepts and the basics of computer programming with C. Some people might feel difficult in learning C. That happened to me also. In fact, when I started coding in C, I faced a lot of issues of understanding it. To become a good programmer, you should never miss learning this language. So I urge you to read a book of C to embrace yourself in programming. Talking about the syntax, it has a high-level plain English syntax that everyone can easily understand. So the bottom line is, to become a good programmer, definitely learn C as your first language, which helps you in future. Most of the uh, modern languages like Python, Swift, Java, Objective-C, C Sharp, C++ follows the substratum of C. So these are my uh, top three the best programming languages for beginners. So I'm gonna say, and never ever lose your momentum while learning coding. And yes, yeah, start coding always with fun. Don't take it too serious. After all, the computers are dumb. And that's it. Whatever you write and your computer follows. Anyway, so this is KSK here so far. Signing off. Peace out.